Hi, I'm Kat, and today we are unboxing the 2021 Selfridges Advent Calendar. This calendar is 250 US dollars. It is supposed to have a value of 700 pounds, which the day that I bought it was about $960, but now the dollars lost a bit of value. So as of right now, this calendar should have a value of around $939. This calendar took 11 days to reach me here in the United States, and it came with stickers all over saying that it was full of hazardous materials. So that was fun when I picked this up from the concierge in my building, he kind of looked at me like, what are you buying? All right, let's get started. So this calendar arrived to me in the US in multiple boxes. It was in one huge exterior box and then a smaller branded Selfridges box, like what I'm assuming it would be shipped in if it were being shipped in the UK. And then inside of that was another box, and then inside of that box was this box. So it's very well packed to make it across the pond. This box is beautiful, it's super thick, and has this gorgeous Selfridges seal. It's magnetized around the edges, so it's a little difficult to open. A lot difficult to open. Ooh. All right, here we go. Ooh, we're starting off strong. Day one is a Dr. Barbara Sturm Hyaluronic Serum. Dr. Barbara Sturm is a very pricey brand, so always good to see these products in advent calendars. Day number two is a Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push-Up Lashes Mascara in black. Day number three is a Delina Hand Cream. It is very well packaged. It's in an outer cellophane package and then in a box. I'm curious to smell this because it is from a perfume house, so it should, I'm assuming, have a perfumey scent. It is not sealed, so. Well, it's a very light scent. It definitely is a scent of perfume, but very, very light. That's beautiful. Day number four is a NARS bronzing powder. This is in the shade Laguna. Should have known, right? If it's a blush, it's always orgasm. If it's a bronzer, it's always Laguna. At least that's been my experience over the years in beauty boxes and in advent calendars. So here it is. Day number five is a 111 Skin Oxygen Express Mask. I've not tried this. I have really liked the 111 Skin products that I've used so far. So hopefully I can add this to the list of things that I enjoy. Day number six has two products. We have the Aveda Nutriplenish Shampoo and Conditioner. I'm not a fan of Aveda products typically because they're meant to smell like botanicals and I don't care for the smell of botanicals. Day number seven is this enormous Wishful Clean Genie. I'm assuming it's a cleansing balm. It's a cleansing butter, my apologies. I've not heard of Wishful. One of the great things about Selfridges is that they have the beauty hall and it's like a million different brands that you often haven't experienced yet and they're all under one roof. So this calendar is usually pretty great for introducing me to brands that I've never heard of but I probably should have heard of. Day number eight, we have our third beauty product. This is Milk Makeup. Lip and Cheek, it's in the color Work, spelled like Work It Girl, you know, that kind of work. Here's what the product looks like. I 
And then here it is on my hand. It's kind of hard to see because again, it's a, like a stain. So put it on and then smudge it around a little bit. So we're doing really good. Three beauty products so far in this beauty calendar and we're only on day eight. Day number nine, we have a Moroccan oil hair treatment. This is something that I haven't bought for years because I still have so much Moroccan oil left. For a while, everyone was gifting me Moroccan oil and I've found as long as you don't open it, it doesn't turn, at least I haven't opened one that smelled like it had gone bad yet. But here's what it looks like out of the box. Day number 10, we have Sunday Riley CEO 15% Vitamin C Brightening Serum. So I've used the Sunday Riley CEO Glow Oil. I've not used this before. Aha! So this is a Hayu Jade Beauty Restorer. This is similar to Netta Porter had the Rose Quart Hayu Gua Sha Tool. I still don't know how to say that. I'm really sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. And this is a jade gua sha tool. Let's uh, open this puppy up and see what it looks like. The Netta Porter one came in a bag. This one is packaged in a nice box. Curious to see the value, if there's a difference between the two in value. Oh, no. So the Netta Porter tool came like this. It came in the little velvet bag with an instructional booklet and no outside box. Probably just to conserve space within the advent calendar. So here we are. This is the Jade Gua Sha tool. I am so sorry if I'm butchering that. It's very cool to the touch. I think I prefer the Rose Quartz one in the Netta Porter calendar just because it's more aesthetically pleasing. Day number 12 is a Malin and Goat's Eucalyptus Deodorant. I have to uh, confess, I'm only familiar with this brand because up until recently, Delta Airlines used them exclusively in their Sky Lounge and in their business class amenity kits and in the business class cabin of their airplanes. So instead of whatever the normal soap is, there would be Malin and Goat's soap and lotion. Smells like eucalyptus. It's a clear deodorant, as you would expect. I wasn't a fan of their lotion or their lip balm, but this could be interesting. Day 13, we have another beauty product. The Selfridges Beauty Calendar is actually a beauty calendar. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Luminous Light. Let's take a look. Oh, this is so cute. Looks like that. Day number 14, this is a Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in vanilla. I've been using this for years. I don't use it as a sleeping mask. I keep one at my computer and just use it as lip balm all throughout the day. I love trying all of the new flavors and seasonal flavors scents when they come out. I've not had vanilla yet, so this should be great. This is a full size. I think for a normal person, one of these would probably last you six months if you were only using it at night. I use it multiple times a day, so I go through about one a month. I accidentally knocked over the calendar, so I've shifted things a little bit. Uh, day number 15 is the Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Pressed Rose Hip Seed Oil. And I'm hoping that this has a dropper. My last face oil just had like a wand and it was really inconvenient. Oh, nice. This does have a dropper. I'm assuming this is full size. Day number 16 is Davina's All-in-One Milk. I'm assuming because this is Davina's that it's a hair product because I've only ever seen hair products from them. I've not heard of this and 
All the writing on the back is in Italian, so I'm not sure. It's gotta be a hair product, right? Day number 17, we have a Mason Margiela Lazy Sunday Morning Fragrance. It's a huge sample. It smells very similar to the Louis Vuitton cactus scent. Day number 18, we have Augustinus Bader, the Rich Cream. This was also included in the Netta Porter calendar. I now have enough to uh, pretend I have a full size bottle. This is about a half size. I think the full size is one ounce. This is a half of an ounce. Day number 19 is Tan Lux Super Gloss SPF Illuminating Bronzing Drops. Let's see, a color correcting tinted face serum to bronze, boost, and hydrate skin. Day number 20, we have Maison Francis Kirk Gijon. I have no idea what I just said. Um, it's Oud Eau de Parfum. Let's take a look at the bottle. I'm a sucker for any pretty fragrance packaging. Well, this is interesting. So the lid is actually twice as large as the actual sample amount. Day 21, we have Ren Clean Skinwear Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. So I believe this is something that you would use in place of a toner, which is great. I'm almost out of my toner. It's a rose water toner that I bought in Korea, and I would probably have never replaced it because I only like to use products that I get in beauty boxes or advent calendars so that I can use them up. So pretty happy about this. Day number 22, we have Suzanne Kaufman St. John's Wart Bath. So this is a glass bottle, similar to the glass bubble bath that came in the Netta Porter advent calendar. I will be gifting this to a friend as I don't take baths. Let's see what it says about it. Everything is in French and Italian on the back. Oh, here we go. The content of the glass is a soothing bath. So uh, hopefully Brittany enjoys this. Day number 23, we have X Nilo Flare Narcotic. Boy, I butchered that so bad. This is a candle. Here's the package. I know it's a beauty advent calendar and I complain that there's not enough makeup, but I like getting candles. I could deal with a little less hair care, a little more candles. So this is what the candle looks like. It's slightly smaller than your typical votive. Like I would say this candle from the Netta Porter calendar is like an average votive size. And then this is this guy. It kind of has an old lady smell to it. No offense. If you're into old lady smells, you will love this. But again, I'm not good with notes. So I don't know what it is that makes something smell like an old lady. Day number 24, we have packaging that has a, that's had a sticker applied to it after it was put in the box because all of the crinkles are stuck between the sticker and the box. This looks like Pat McGrath. Ooh, it is. So I am a huge fan of Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes because they're a, like the packaging is obnoxious and the formula is really good. I have not tried anything beyond eyeshadow. So this is Pat McGrath Liquid Lust in Divine Nude. Uh, so this is what the packaging looks like. It, this is a mess. So here's the box, cute. Sticker stuck to it. Let's take a look at what's actually inside. Oh, this is my ideal color. So this is the color. I always have to smell, you know, sometimes lip gloss has a weird scent to it. This is beautiful. Here is the color. It's like a rosy nude. It's very pretty. 
All right, last drawer. I'm a little nervous. Day 25 is usually something amazing or it's a bath product or a hair product. Ooh, the calendar's been really good, so I'm like really afraid that this is gonna be like the one terrible item. Let's see. Oh, it's a fragrance. And there's something else in here. Oh, I forgot. If I can get it out. So with every Selfridges beauty advent calendar, you receive a complimentary visit with the beauty concierge. I will be in London in December, so I'm definitely going to take advantage of this. It's good for one service at, I think, three of the Selfridges stores. Let's see. London, Manchester, Trafford, and Manchester Exchange Square. So you can either use this for like a skincare refresh. Let's say you have really dry skin and you want a beauty consultant or a beauty concierge to walk you through and kind of explain all the products to you. You can use that, this for that. You can use this for like a mini makeup try on. I think it's like a 15 minute refresh of your makeup where they offer to sell you products that they've used on you. Oh, so it's for a 45 minute appointment. It can be used for personalized advice or pampering treatment or letting the experts bring the best of the beauty hall to you. So if you can't make it to a store, you're able to do this virtually as well. Uh, some of the services that a beauty concierge provides are a tour through the skincare. So let's say you just are now super into skincare and you want to learn more about it and all of the different lines. Selfridges Beauty Hall is amazing. It's actually overwhelming. Uh, so the concierge will walk you through and kind of give you the rundown on all of the brands and any specific concerns that you have, they'll point you towards products, no matter what line they are, that they think could work for you, which is nice because then you don't have like the brand representative. If you're talking to somebody from La Mer, they're only going to want to sell you La Mer. So this is pretty cool. I'm actually looking forward to it. I think I'll book my appointment now. I don't want to risk there not being any appointments available when I'm in London next month. So included in that drawer was this Santal 33 Eau de Parfum. Oh, it's adorable. It says it was compounded at Selfridges on Christmas Eve. So that hasn't happened yet, obviously, but here it is. And of course I'm now covered in fragrance that I've sprayed on me. Oh, this has a really, has a light scent. It's a little floral, but it's not overwhelmingly floral. It's not powdery at all. I actually really like that. So that was the Selfridges Beauty Advent Calendar for 2021. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully the value that you see down below is the value that we were promised in this calendar. If there are any calendars that you're interested in seeing unboxed, please leave them down below. I am more than happy to take one for the team and buy an extra calendar so that we can take a look inside. Any excuse for another calendar, I'm all for it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.